Okay, well, clearly we're, we're not where we need to be. Um, you, you know, I can keep saying that until we are, but so let, let's focus on a few positives first. I thought that um, our, our kill was significantly better. They looked, uh, uh, you know, a lot more organized. They were communicating well, and we, we where we got stung by them a couple times uh, the previous week, um, we killed off our, our, our power plays, or their power plays. Um, I thought um, uh, McNicholas's power play looked back to a little bit more confidence. We had created some chances off that. Um, our D zone, although we were under pressure, um, was better. Um, we, we, we just didn't give them the run of it. Um, now, focusing on the areas where we need to get better, uh, it's clear that guys aren't thinking as fast as that pace uh, was tonight. And there are a couple of reasons for that. One, we're either not in the condition um, that we need to be. Um, that was an extremely fast pace out there tonight, um, and Belfast does not stop skating. I think that's going to be the pace of the league. Um, and and we, we, we need to make some serious improvements in that, that uh, area. Where we gave up a lot of outman situations before, I thought we had three men above the puck and we're taking guys to the net so uh, Shane wasn't exposed like he was in Cardiff. Um, you know, that's important to note. Um, but from an organizational standpoint, uh, it's, it's clear that we need uh, two or three import forwards in um, and, and a D-man as well. Um, now, that's something that is ongoing. Um, I've made no secret about it. I've talked about it. Um, it it's not a great time to, to find forwards. I know that there's not only teams in this league looking, there's a, a lot of teams in Europe looking as well. Um, but that's going to be imperative to our success because although we created a few decent scoring opportunities tonight, uh, we, we, we're just not generating that offense. We had two breakaways again tonight, and we're not putting the puck in the net. You can get outplayed in a game, but if you get your opportunities, like the last time Belfast were in this building, um, we didn't finish on four two-on-ones. And tonight we had two breakaways, and once again, you, you, you know, we're, we're, we're looking at zero offense. So that's a, that's a big problem that needs addressed. I was very happy with our performance. Um, the, the first period first period and second period, we controlled the majority of the play. And then in the third period, uh, we asked them to shut down. We knew that Fife would come in the third period. And uh, they did have a bit of a push there, especially with the power plays. And um, you know, good job on our kill uh, you know, to, to shut that down. And like I said, overall, uh, a positive road game for us, especially with uh, the short bench. Yeah, I mean, we understand that uh, it's going to be tough to get to the net. Um, you know, a lot of those shots will be from the outside, and uh, Shane's going to make those saves every day. So we knew that, and it is tough to get to the inside against Fife, and uh, we knew that we were going to have to buy our time, not get uh, frustrated, and wait for our chance and opportunity to strike. And, uh, you know, the guys did that and stuck with it. Uh, and I thought, obviously, with the chances that we did give Fife, especially in the third period, or first period there, we... A couple breakaways, and uh, it was a good chance there in the third, or sorry, in the second. And uh, Besco was there to, to kind of keep us in the lead, so uh, that was huge from us, or huge from them.